Today we're going to evaluate the Hoka One One. Uh, this is a men's shoe. It's a size 10, and it weighs about 11.4 ounces. Uh, it's a very high-profile shoe. If you notice how thick the midsole is, your foot is fairly high off the ground. It has a heel-to-toe ratio of 30 millimeters and 26 millimeters. So you have a four millimeter offset. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the shoe stability index for the shoe, and then we're going to tell you who should be in it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the torsional control index or the midfoot stability, which we call it. So what we're going to do is twist the shoe 15 degrees on a long axis, and we're gonna measure the amount of inch pounds of resistance that goes through that uh, 15 degrees. So let's go ahead with this. And let's measure this. And we have about 60 inch pounds of midfoot stability. So what we'll do is we'll put that into our mathematical equation. We'll put our 60. Okay. We've calculated that. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to measure what we call the vertical compression index. And that is simply how soft or firm the midsole is under the heel. The firmer the midsole is, the more stability in the rear foot. The more cushioned, the less stability. So let's start with this first. This computer will measure in millimeters on how soft that shoe is. Okay, we'll zero the computer and we'll compress the shoe to 100 pounds. So the vertical compression index or uh, the uh, amount of stu uh, stability in the rear foot is 8.18 uh, millimeters. Okay, and we'll place that into our mathematical formula. And we have a uh, index for that shoe, a shoe stability index of 52.1. So let's now go over to the chart and see who should be in that shoe um, using that index. So in the true lab um, testing where we had a constant temperature, we don't have it here in this facility, it was actually 41.7. And that would be uh, almost a neutral shoe. So if you look at that 41.7 and you compare it to the highest, it's 92.2 .2 is the highest uh, shoe stability index that we have here. Taking into account the shoe stability index, the person that's probably best to be in that shoe is a person who is of light stature, 170 pounds or less, and has a neutral gait. This shoe does not have enough support for someone who is a moderate to extreme pronator or a supinator. The other important part on this is in our lab, when we did the uh, rear foot stability or vertical compression index, it was 9.24. That is very soft. And that is uh, very important to know because if you have someone that has Achilles tendonitis, heel pain, uh, or calf pain, you don't want them in that shoe because they'll put too much tractional force as the heel drops to 9.24 millimeters. So anyway, that's uh, how we evaluate the shoe. And if you have any more questions, uh, please go to our website, 
www.shootutor.com.